Number 25, Bokator, an ancient Cambodian martial art having its origins on the battlefield, its name literally translates to pounding a lion. By using a diverse array of strikes and weapons, it may not be surprising to know that Bokator has been responsible for numerous deaths. Number 24, Combato. Although technically it's no longer practiced, Combato is an extremely lethal fighting system used in World War II by the Canadian Armed Forces. First developed by Bill Underwood in 1910, after the war several law enforcement agencies requested him to teach their officers. Bill refused, however, on the grounds that Combato was too violent and thus developed Defendo as a more civilian-friendly successor. Number 23, Jeet Kune Do. Developed by Bruce Lee, this hybrid martial art was his response to the quote-unquote flowery techniques used in other systems. Bruce felt that although these stylistic forms certainly had aesthetic appeal, their practical usefulness was nearly zero. Number 22, Shapogi. Practiced by the Korean military for hundreds of years, this martial art is split into three categories, thrust, strike, and slice. Unlike many of its Korean counterparts, however, its focus is much more on practical fighting techniques than artsy philosophies. Number 21. Although today it's more of a dance than anything else, this martial art was born in the slave ghettos of Brazil hundreds of years ago. Originally, it was meant to be a technique by which runaway slaves could defend themselves against attackers, but before long, its practice came to be outlawed due to its quote-unquote dangerous nature. As a result, practitioners disguised it as a dance by which it lives on today. Number 20. Kaju Kembo. Originating on the streets of the crime-ridden Palamo settlement in Hawaii, this highly effective and to-the-point martial art combines numerous influences and was developed specifically to give locals the ability to defend themselves against not only gangs but also drunk Navy sailors who had a tendency of starting fights. Number 19. KZ Fighting Method. Developed by Justo Dega Serrano as the accumulation of his fighting experience on the streets of Spain, the KZ method is intended to be used for self-defense in violent street-level encounters. It has gained widespread popularity in recent years and was even featured in the newer Batman movies. Number 18, Sambo. Sambo is a deadly combination of grappling and wrestling that was developed for the Red Army in the early 1920s. It was originally created specifically to improve the Soviet Special Forces' hand-to-hand -hand combat abilities. But after a surge in crime, the government began training security guards and public law enforcement officers as well. Evidently, it's a bad idea to rob banks in Russia. Number 17, Pit Fighting. Okay, although brawling isn't really a martial art, the idea of digging a pit and having two men duke it out street style just had to be on here somewhere. This modern day gladiator fighting was started by biker gangs in California, and the practice has actually given rise to several world renowned competitive fighters. Number 16, Eskrima. Sometimes called Arnis or Kali in the West, Eskrima is a Filipino martial art that was outlawed by Spanish invaders as a result of it being too dangerous. Like some others on this list, it only exists today because for the next several hundred years it was disguised as a dance. Number 15. Bojuka. Similar to other non-sport martial arts, this hybrid fighting technique developed by Tom Schrenk in the 90s doesn't focus on scoring points or having correct form. Its sole purpose is to enable an outnumbered defender to turn the odds in his favor during a violent street assault. Unlike some other methods on this list, however, it does make an attempt to at least use reasonable levels of force. Number 14. Spear. An acronym standing for Spontaneous Protection Enabling Accelerated Response, this method of self-defense was developed by Tony Blauer in the 80s. Its focus is on using a person's natural reflexes when faced with threatening situations and has been adopted by numerous police forces and militaries around the world. Number 13. Nindakai. A system of self-defense built on ancient Japanese martial arts, Nindakai was developed by Dr. Gerard Schoenberger in Germany during the early 90s. Similar to Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do, it eliminates all of the showy techniques and focuses only on that which is effective to surviving a fight. Number 12. Sistema. A lethal combat method employed by the Russian Special Forces, Sistema is similar to Krav Maga in that its sole purpose is to do as much damage to your adversary as quickly and efficiently as possible. Number 11. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Gaining popularity around the world when Royce Gracie won the first, second, and fourth Ultimate Fighting Championships, he ended up defeating much larger opponents who had trained a variety of other styles. The effectiveness of BJJ, however, comes from its emphasis on ground fighting and giving smaller practitioners an advantage by employing body leverage. Number 10. Muay Thai Otherwise known as the art of eight limbs for its heavy inclusion of elbows and knee strikes, it should come as no surprise that such a deadly form of self-defense would emerge from a place like Thailand, a country well acquainted with violence and conquest. Number 9. Kapuku Aiolua 
Also known just as Lua, this unconventional Hawaiian martial art focuses on bone breaking, joint manipulation, and even open ocean warfare. The name itself actually means two hits, and apart from having a long history on the battlefield, practitioners go to great lengths to turn the odds in their favor, with some warriors even coating themselves in coconut oil so they couldn't be grappled in battle. Number 8. Bakom. This Peruvian martial art was born on the streets of Lima. It blends numerous techniques and is designed to quickly inflict maximum injury to an opponent. Due to the emphasis on hidden weapons and deception, it's not unusual for fights to end in death. Number 7. Vale Tudo. Portuguese for anything goes, this is a full contact combat sport popular in Brazil. It has a very limited number of rules and takes techniques from numerous martial arts. The only problem is that since it's so dangerous and bloody, it often creates quite a stir in the media. For this reason, most of the events are held underground. Number 6. Ninjutsu. Practiced by the shinobi, or ninja, in feudal Japan, this martial art focused on unconventional warfare, espionage, and assassination. Its practitioners were even sometimes referred to as hinin, or non-humans. Number 5. Rough and Tumble. Often considered one of the few fighting styles native to the United States, this form of violent encounter was very popular around the time of the American Revolution. With emphasis on maximum disfigurement, it often involved everything from men gouging out each other's eyes to literally biting the tongues off their opponents. Very few of the other entries on this list come even close to attaining the level of violence in these colonial era bloodbaths. Number 4, LINE. An acronym standing for Linear Infighting Neural Override Engagement, this combat technique was used by the United States Marine Corps for most of the 90s and is still employed by numerous special forces. It was succeeded by the MCMAP, or Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, in recent years, however, due to the fact that it was relatively inflexible. Because it almost always involved ending the life of your opponent, the military couldn't use it in non-emergent situations, such as peacekeeping operations. Number 3, Krav Maga. Not surprisingly, the world's most effective and dangerous martial art comes to us from one of the most conflicted regions of the world. Developed for use by the IDF, or Israeli Defense Force, Krav Maga is a non-sport martial art, meaning it doesn't concern itself with the opponent's well-being. In fact, it generally assumes no quarters, or the idea that your opponent intends to kill you. For this reason, the brutal techniques of Krav Maga have been developed with the sole intention of inflicting as much pain as quickly and efficiently as possible, which very often includes deliberately ending the life of your adversary. Number 2. Chunkuk Do. Being a martial art developed by Chuck Norris, we know what you're thinking. How could it possibly not be number 1? Well, as hard as it is to believe, there is in fact something even more lethal. Which brings us to number 1. CNRK. Also known as the Chuck Norris roundhouse kick, or sometimes just the roundhouse kick, there is nothing more lethal than a foot traveling faster than the speed of light. In fact, according to Einstein's theory, if E equals MC squared, this would mean that Chuck's foot is not only moving ridiculously fast, it also has infinite mass. Just another reason not to upset Chuck Norris.